Hi, my name is Les Darlow. I'm going to be showing you how to paint a wonderful skyscape using unison pastels. This pastel painting should take around 20 minutes to paint. Please enjoy. stage is to paint, block in the sky with um, three blues. I use a ultramarine, um, a mid blue and then a very light cyan towards the edge of the clouds. Um, we're painting sort of a big, big, uh, big stormy sky. Once you've painted in the, uh, blocked in the blues, going to add the greys, uh, the dark areas of cloud, uh, which are usually on the underside of the, um, of the cloud, just blocking the dark areas where they're going to be. <clears throat> Blend in the blues of the sky so it creates a smooth, smooth finish to the sky. You can direct the pastel around the, um, the, 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 the board, uh, which is very, very useful. Again, around the edge of those clouds, it's just usually a little bit lighter where the light is coming up. Um, I've used a reference photo, but I have changed the, the original light was slightly above the clouds. I've moved the light below to get more of an evening scene. Uh, once we've done that, We've added the greys, which is the darker area of the clouds. We're going to add, like, there's always a, like, purples and reds in the uh, clouds uh, in the late evening. Um, add those purples and reds to the upper edge of the dark greys. Around the edge of the cloud is where the light's going to come. And we work, because it's not, it, it's evening, so we're going to use a, like a yellow ochre um, and white and creams to use variation in the colours around those tips of the clouds where the light's going to hit. So using your reference photo, add the light areas of the cloud there um, and blend that into the purples and the reds um, and, and soften it all up. These clouds are cumulus nimbus clouds, so they're, they're, they're going to bubble and they're going to um, look really stormy. So blend and work quite quickly. I find that by working quite quickly, um, you can get movement within your, um, within your picture. Down the base of the clouds, we're going to use the darkest areas of the grey there, but we're going to have some light coming through there. So, as I've shown there, just add those, these are the rays of the light that are coming through, they're going to hit the sea. So, um, layer those colours just on the bottom edge of the, the dark grey clouds there. And then, to get the direction, I use my thumb, as you can see, broadly stretch that pastel down the paper at an angle to get the light coming in from those from those areas. The next stage is to add, uh, just add some mountains into the scene. Very simple shapes. Um, this is an impression so there's, there's nothing absolutely accurate about this. It's, it's an impression. It's meant to be. It's meant to create those lovely evening moves where the, the, um, the sun is going down and there's some big clouds falling. Um, in the distance there, rather than have the dark clouds dark, they, they always fade out. And the, the light is, is um, the reds, um, the blues are, are dispersed by, by the evening, by the distance. So add those cloud shapes. Um, what I find is the the, um, the the composition is is um, designed around around drawing the eye into the painting. So just bear that in mind um, and have those lovely flows of 
of cloud, shapes, colour, moving and bringing the eye into the painting all the time. When I put the cloud, uh, the, the mountains on here, I'm sort of just, again, using my thumb to shape, to shape the pastel, to, to shape the mountains, to add um, paths and, and direction to the four rock formations on the mountains. As you can see on the left hand side there, I've softened all that edge out to add a little bit of mystery in there as well. This part here, we, we, we want the rays of the light to come over the mountain. It all adds to adding the atmosphere to the painting, and that's what this is all about. Trying to add the lovely atmosphere of the summer's evening. Now the exciting part, and we're adding the uh, the um, sea. It's just very, very, very loose, very rough, very ready. The sand here is a dark brown, and on top a uh, a, a, a mid brown sort of orange colour, and then the um, light yellows on top, we just get that lovely sandy colour and it's all direction, all direction uh, with a pastel just to create those shapes, add some dark greys there um, as we want the um, reflection of the wet sun as the tide's been in. Drag that downwards, if you drag the, the down if we can add the reflections which makes that even more interesting. Add some waves coming in there. And just loosely some where the, the, the waves have just gone up they've gone up the wet area of the beach. And then just add those shapes just to add that little bit more interest in the foreground. I always go back over um, a scene like this and just add those interesting little bits to because um, this is a very quick demo um, we can spend a lot more time on something like this but I always find that by use, by by painting quickly we can get that uh, atmosphere and movement within a, a painting which I feel is very important about balance in the painting. Little touches now, we're going to add some rays of light coming out from behind that cloud. Just clean fingers and drag upwards to get the lovely rays of light. soften edges of the painting it gives a little bit more atmosphere and mystery and uh, brings the eye to focus on a certain point. I'm just adding a little bit of detail here and just, just something to break that up there so I'm just going to throw a little flag in the distance with um, a little red flag on there, a little white, white flag forward uh, and then a couple of figures uh, walking down the beach, very tiny there. Again, just to bring out the, the dimensions of the painting. Some little goals in the distance there. Again, you can direct those into the painting to bring the eye in again. more or less it. Just a couple of little just a couple of little features just to make it uh, a little bit more interesting. Soften that up. Signature. And we're done. 
Thanks for watching.